So, welcome to another episode of Jack's Avian Community. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my more exotic quails. First of all, this is the Gambles quail, which can easily be misconstrued with the Californian quail, as I explained to Year 9 in Aviology Club. So, the way to tell a Gambles quail from a Californian quail is there's really no way. No way that I personally can authenticate but the way I think is some of their front feathers are more oscillated but then the rest are more pointed as you might be able to see. I don't know, more of the more vigilant people and the way their neck feathers round the back are a lot more pointy. Um, you'll have seen this one in Aviology Club before, anyone in Campbell. Um, and they're very uh, iconic with their headscarf, which is very bouncy when they run around. And I think it's a lovely bird. And it's one of my favourite quail species. Now, my favourite's the Jap, the Japanese quails. But it's a lovely bird. It's in the Old World quails. Um, not, but it's not very closely related with Japs, but can be kept with Japs anyway. But it is a nice bird. And anyone who keeps them, let me know if you have any different care you give them. But I just give them the same care as the Japs. I'll show you the other kind now. So here we have the Chinese painted quails. The males have that bib, that's a wee black headed mutation. I only have the two of the Chinese painted quail as they're very small compared to the Japs. Actually I'll give you a size comparison now. So that's a wee size comparison there. You can see how much bigger Shandy is compared to those wee two. He's standing in front of them but you can see their heads and how small they are compared to him. And you'll have seen Shandy in school and in other videos as well. So these ones need a little different care to the Japs, just like they prefer a nice bit of lettuce, they're more insectivorous than the Japs, although Japs love any insects you give them, they devour them straight away and just actually now I have bought them some dried mealworms, but the Japs love a nice suet block, a wild bird suet block, I'll show you that actually now. Just uh, Glenwood quality bird food, wild bird, um, Wild Garden Bird Box, but um, it's perfect for the domestic ones, that's a chaff inch there, but suit block and they love that. Hens have a brown appearance like the Faro Japs, but the males are very different, they have their rufous bellies and the blue upper body, and the normals have a white chin, but there are very many different mutations including silvers and fawns and many other reds and whites and so many others but for now that's where we're gonna have to leave us I'll see you in another video very very soon bye bye the quails of Gilnark